Amen. Amen. Well, listen, really quickly, really quickly. I see um, a few people. If you're in a position where you can turn your camera on, just turn your camera on, unmute yourself, and let's just give God some praise. How about that? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I am. I am a firm believer in just truly Amen. lifting up the name of God to God be the glory. Because one thing that I truly, truly believe Amen. in this moment and in this season is that, you know, I like you, I miss, I miss church. Don't get me wrong. I miss, I miss the building. I miss us being there. But it's one thing that, that, that I don't want to miss more so in the church. And I don't want to miss what God is doing. Right. And God, and God is doing something in this season. And and what's so powerful and what's so awesome right now about what God is doing is God is giving us an opportunity to serve, worship, and praise him in our homes. And I don't, and I don't want us to miss that opportunity because so often I don't, I don't want us to be just building worshipers to where you can't clap unless you're in the building. You can't shout unless you're in the building. You know, I mean, some of us, some of us have, have already done it. Some of us hadn't made that mental shift to where it doesn't matter if I'm in my kitchen, I'm going to praise him. It don't matter if I'm in my living room, I'm going to praise him. It don't matter if I'm, if I'm in my garage, I'm going to praise him. I'm in my office right now, I'm going to praise him because we are the church. I'm the church. And when the body and when the church comes together, it ought to be some good news. It ought to be some hallelujahs. It ought to be some amens, whether it's virtually, whether it's through Zoom, whether it's through group me. It doesn't matter what kind of platform you are, because when you just think about how good God has been, when you think about how good God is right now, you ought to have hallelujah in your spirit, somebody. Amen. Amen. So. Now that we got that out the way, I can get to the, I can get down to the formalities and 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 make sure that I that I say all my hellos and my and and I just definitely want to welcome everybody, welcome everybody. Thank you. I want to thank God first, giving honor to God for giving me this opportunity and this privilege, because for me, for me, preaching is a privilege that 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 I take and I understand that is that is precious and it's priceless. So to be able to have the opportunity to speak to God's people in this time is something that, that I definitely hold near and dear to my heart. I also want to say thank you to, to, to my sister, uh, Pastor Maria. I mean, just an awesome, wonderful, amazing, effervescent woman of God, astute woman of God who, who is just doing some amazing things. So I just want to say thank, thank you to her. I want to say thank you to the leadership and the membership of that sweet, awesome, amazing gym out there in Stephenville, Texas, known as New Bethel. Thank you so much for just allowing me the opportunity to have your ears for a minute. And I ask that you continue to pray with me. I want to say thank you and praise God for my inf impact family that's on. I got, I got some men of impact on. I got some women of impact on. Got some young people that's on. I got some folks that's on from Alabama. Because you know, I didn't know I didn't know if I was gonna have an amen gonna come from Stephenville. So I had to recruit some folk from Alabama. I got some folk that's from I got some folk from Ohio. It doesn't matter. So if I, I don't want to call names, I right, we got G Crob, I see you. We got people here, Tor, I see you. Listen, we are getting ready to have a good time. Brother Henry, I see you. Kendricks, I see you. Tamara, I see you. I see y'all. Listen, thank y'all, man. Listen for, for coming in. We're getting ready to have a good time in the Lord. I'm just excited. Oh, yeah. Elias, amen. So if you don't mind, one more time, just one more time, unmute yourself and let's just give God a praise. The praise that he's due. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. I love it. See, see, this when you know is real. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't got to have, you ain't got the lights. You ain't got, we ain't got no organ. I, you know, ain't got none of that. This one is real. When the real saints of God come to God. God said, when two or three come together, now think about it, we got over 30. It ought to be some happening on this call. Amen. Yes, yeah. Amen. Amen. So I'm just excited. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get right to the business at hand. I know you didn't come here to hear me talk. You came here to hear me preach and to hear from God. And I'm excited about that. So Father God, in this moment, in this season, in this time, Lord, we say thank you. God, we say thank you for your word in advance, God. We say thank you right now for each and every family represented on this call. God, we say thank you for fathers right now, God. 
the love of fathers, God, the spirit of fathers, God, the weight of being a father, the burden of being a father, the blessing of being a father. Lord, we say thank you for fathers right now. God, we ask right now that you hide me now, that they see less of me, God, and all of thee. God, I ask right now that the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In thee, O oh Lord, we put our trust. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I am. Amen. I, 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 um, I want to I want to bring your attention um, to a to a text, and and I want to definitely say uh, thank you and and bless you, Desiree, for for that for that for that information on mental health, and um, thank you, um, brother Nate, for that prayer, and thank you, my other brother, for reading the scripture. Just thank you so much for everybody being a part of this amazing experience. But if you have your Bibles, if you have your Bibles, there is a word. Um, if you would turn with me to the gospel of Psalms. If you turn with me to Psalms 37, and we're going to read quickly the 23rd verse through verse 25. So Psalms 37, verse 23 through 25. And and when you when you have it, when you have it, when you have it, because I just like hearing you, you can come off mute and say, I got it, preacher. That's it. That's I got it, preacher. I got it. Amen. Got it. Amen. 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 And it reads, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. I have been young, and now I'm old. Yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Amen, amen. And, and I want to just tag this text for preaching, if you will. When good men step up, mm. when good men yeah, step up, I, I know, I know, I know in this time that we're in right now and we're celebrating Father's Day, I'm, 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 men, I'm here to celebrate you, men, I'm here to uplift you, men, I'm here to high five you and do all these things with you, but right now I'm on assignment, and 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 the reason. I'm on assignment because more so than ever, it's time for good men to step up. We are operating in a time and in a season to where it feels as if not just men, but good men are on the sideline. To where social media and movies and TV and has allowed us to have a cloudy vision of really what a good man is. Um, I went home, I went home, I went home about two weeks ago, and 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 oh, and and I will say this about myself. Now I am I am a name calling preacher, so I see all these names on here. So this is just like an elevator button to me. So I'm gonna be calling your name. So even if I ain't never called your name before, I'm probably gonna call your name today. So I just need you to get ready. But I, I went home, I went home, Nate, and I went home about two weeks ago. And while I was home visiting my mama, I went by my dad's house. And me and my dad, we were sitting there having a conversation. And, and while we were having a conversation, when I pulled up, I saw that my dad, there were some other men there who were doing some work on the house. And I'm sitting there and I'm having a conversation, Gary, with my daddy. And me and my daddy talking about the whole protest and the issues and, and everything going on. And I remember saying to my dad, I said, why is it when I'm looking at the TV screen, I, I know that men are present, but why is it that it seems as if I'm only seeing women and young folk? You know, where are the men? I mean, because I've seen the pictures of, of the men in suits standing on the steps. I've seen those pictures, but, but where are they on the front line? I've seen the pictures of, of the men with the t-shirts on and the fists in the air, but, but where are they on the front line? I'm, I'm looking for the men that's leading the protest. I see plenty of young folk, I see plenty of women, but I'm looking for the good men that's, that's, that's on the front line. And, and while I'm talking to my dad, an, another man jumps in the conversation and he, and, and he says, Kendricks, any good man with any good sense wouldn't take a step down there. And you know, and you know that, 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 that just kind of hit me the wrong way. <laughs> oh God. You know, because I'm sitting there, I'm sitting there, Tori, trying to wrap my mind around that. How can a man say this? And, and 
And before I know it, you already know me, Tor. I'm up on my feet, me and him face to face. We nose to nose. We having this conversation. But the Holy Spirit taps me on my shoulder and says, stop. Yes. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit told me to stop for two reasons. The first reason the Holy Spirit told me to stop because I was, be I was getting ready to act out of character. Uh. There's no way I can have this conversation of this magnitude without the character of Christ. Right. Some of us are having difficult conversations. We're trying to have conversations with coworkers. We're trying to have conversations with friends. We're trying to have conversations with family members, but we're having these conversations without the character of Christ, and we're wondering why we're fussing and arguing. Amen. Second, second, second reason the Holy Spirit said, stop. The Holy Spirit said, how do you know if he even knows what a good man is. Well, now. <laughs> so at that point, I had to stop and I had to come down off of my high horse and I had to sit down with this brother. And I said, and I began to have a conversation with him. And, 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 and as we started to unpack the conversation, I began to ask him, I said, I said, well, sir, what do you feel a good man is. He said, oh, oh, that's easy. A good man is a man's man. A, a good man is a man that can pay for what he wants. A good man is a man that makes his own money. A good man is a man that can drive any kind of car he wants. A good man is a man that, 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 that can walk into a room and control the room. A good man is a man that has influence. A good man is a man that has the best zip code that he wants to, to, to live in. And as I'm listening to him, I'm clearly starting to see that his vision is blurry. <laughs> And not uh -huh. his physical vision, but his spiritual vision is cloudy. His optical <laughs> illusion of what he feels a good man is is yeah. blurry. Yeah, yeah. And I remember, I remember telling him the story of a of about this couple, this couple who had just gotten married, and this and this and this couple Lola, they moved, they moved to this this new neighborhood, and it was like this country neighborhood, and they had just bought this house, and and then as they as they bought this house, they were sitting there, and and what they loved about the house was the kitchen because they could always go sit in the kitchen. The kitchen had a big bay window, and then the bay window would out. Would, would, uh, would allow them to look into the backyard. And not only could they look into their backyard, but they can see into their neighbor's backyard. And then so every morning the wife would come down and she would fix her coffee and they would, and they would sit there. And then she would look at her husband because she, would, she was able to see the neighbor's clothesline. And then every time she would look at the neighbor's clothesline, she would say, honey, I wonder who taught that woman how to wash clothes because her clothes are so dirty. And then morning after morning, Saturday after Saturday, she would come down and fix her coffee and she would fix her eggs and fix her toast and say, honey, I just, I just wonder who, who, who taught her how to, how to wash clothes because her clothes just so dirty. And then one, one morning in particular, the husband, he got up a food a few hours early and he went down and then he was already at the table by the time the wife got down to the table. And then she looked out the window and she said, huh, honey, I can't believe it. Somebody then taught her how to wash clothes. And finally, the husband said, well, no, baby, I just got up a little early and I cleaned our windows. So we got to understand, sometimes we got to clean our own windows okay. because it's impacting what we're trying to see. It's hindering us from seeing clearly because we got a cloudy interpretation of what a man is. And as we went through and we start talking and we start debating, and I started to tell him, I said, sir, a good man is not selfish. A good man is not self-centered. A good man is not inconsiderate. A good man is not mean. A good man is not arrogant. A good man is not closed-minded. A good man is not hypocritical. A good man is not ignorant. A good man is not short-tempered. A good man doesn't feel entitled. A good man doesn't act immoral. A good man isn't greedy. A good man isn't annoying. A good man isn't vengeful. 
superficial. A good man isn't superficial. A good man isn't critical. A good man isn't vulgar. A good man isn't condescending. A good man isn't bossy. A good man isn't flaky. A good man isn't a troublemaker. Okay. You ain't never say, man, mm. I'm going to preach this whole oh, list. Boy, preach, a good preach, man ain't man. consistent. A Come good on. man ain't manipulative. A good man ain't diabolical. A good man ain't a sexist. A good man ain't a racist. A good Come man on, ain't a a good man ain't a yapper. A good man ain't a complainer. A good man don't care about the initials in front of his name. Freak, man. Behind his name. A good Woo! man don't have to have on a Gucci or a Hermes belt. A good man don't care nothing about where he graduated from. A good man don't care nothing about what's in the driveway. A good man don't care nothing where he lives at. A good man is tied to not what he brings, but the cross that he carries. Come on. Come on. Come on. Preach, 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 man. Yes, Lord. We keep allowing society to shape the minds of our young men. Right. Yes. Come on. To have them feel like a good man is how many dead presidents you got folded in your pocket. Right. But you can have a pocket full of money and not be a good man. Right. All right. You can be the You're biggest right scholar and not be a good man. You're right, right. about it. You can have all the friends and still not be a good man. Whoop. You can be mm. able to buy the bar out, but that don't make you a good man. Mm. You can be the physique that all the women like, but that don't make you a good man. Mm. You can have the smell that all of them want to be around, but that don't make you a good man. Hey. Hallelujah. We got a decision to make Tell that. when it comes to being a good man. Good man. Yes, sir. I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost, I'm almost done. So I, I say to him, these are the things that, that we have to identify. Then at that point, I say, okay, sir, we have a decision to make. I say, we, we're not, we're not born good. Because any of us know, any of us, you know, know the word. I mean, so we're, we're born in sin, shaping in a nick. Like we, we know that we're not born good. You can't go, you can't get good from Amazon. I don't care how, what kind of prime you got. You can't get it from eBay. You can't get it from Walmart. You got to make a decision as a man that I'm going to be good. Yes, yes. Amen. Now, like I told you, I'm here on assignment and, and, and I'm looking for some good men. I'm looking for some men that's, that's, that's willing to say, yeah, 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 that's me because something happens when, when good men step up. Now, I want you to understand now, when you accept this assignment, men, I want you to know that, that, that it comes with five critical responsibilities. But when you accept the responsibility, it also has some benefits. So it's just like any other job. When we go to a job, we look at that job and we say, okay, that's my job, that's the description, but what's the benefit? And there's some good news in the text today that there's some benefits in being a good man. The first thing I want to show you is to make sure you get the five responsibilities because I don't want you to accept the benefit before you accept the responsibility because that's wrong with some of us right now. We're so busy looking for the benefit, but we hadn't accepted the responsibility. We Woo! want to pay out, but we don't want to do the work. We want the yeah! recognition, but we don't want to do the grind. You can't say you you can't say you dripping if you ain't willing to grind. You can't say <laughs> that you're at the top if you ain't willing to work. You can't say that you you a man's man if you ain't willing to have sweat on your brow. You can't uh -huh. tell me ain't no job if there's lawnmowers that's still running. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. So we got a decision to make. When we, when we make the decision, the first thing, the first responsibility that we have is to step up. I need every man just to say step up. Step up. Step up. When we step, when we step, step up. up. When we step up, we're making a decision that I'm yeah, a leader. I'm getting, I'm a, a, I'm the type of person that initiates. I'm the kind of person that goes. I'm not waiting on somebody to tap me. I'm, I'm assuming that it's my job. It's my responsibility. When it's time to step up, it's time for us to step up and get our communities back. Step up, get our marriages back. Step up, get our children back. It's time for men to step up. When you look at the divine order, you have God, Jesus, man. We got to get back in order. Mm. Second thing, second thing, second responsibility. First responsibility, you got to step up. Second responsibility, you got to speak out. Every man say, speak out. Speak, speak out. out. When you understand when, 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 when a man's speaking, because sometimes we're doing too much talking, but are we really doing speaking? Are we speaking truth? Just because you run in your mouth, that don't mean you're saying something. 
We got to get into a space where we are telling and speaking the truth, speaking the love of God out of our mouths. Our children and our wives and our community need to hear us shout Jesus, need to hear us shout hallelujah, need to hear us shout glory. We don't care about your financial portfolio. We don't care about your stocks and dividends. We need somebody who's going to say, if it had not been, for the well, Lord, Lord who was on my side. It what? could I be man who don't mind standing in the middle of the street and saying, when I look back over my life and I think things over, he Woo! can't make it away out of nowhere. That's hey! what we're looking for. It's time to speak out. Third thing, third thing. We got to stand strong. We got to stand strong. We can't give up when the going gets tough. We can't give up when it gets challenging. We can't give up because we're being criticized. We can't give up because we're being attacked. It's time for us to lock in arms. That's what I love when the men at Impact pray. We don't hold hands. We don't hold hands as men because somebody can break that bond when they end. We lock in. We lock in and we become shoulder to shoulder and arm to arm and chest to chest. Because we know the stronger we are locked up, the stronger we are. You got to get with some men that think like you and walk like you and think the Christ that you think and walk in the Christ that you walk in. We got to stand strong. Ooh. Fourthly, yes, fourthly, we got to stay humble. We got to be vigilant against pride. We, we, we got to stop allowing our pride to win. Too many of our brothers are in prison because of pride. Too many of our brothers are in cemeteries because of pride. Too many of our brothers are, are in trouble right now because of pride. We, it's not the fact that we, I'm asking you to think less of yourself. I'm asking you to think of yourself less. Realize that it's not about you. That it's bigger than you. And last, the fifth responsibility is that we got to serve the king. Let me hear all the men say serve the king. When, when men say, I'm going to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, then and truly understand that everything else will be added unto him. To where a lot of us, we are, we are dry. A lot of us may work on the job that we work on to satisfy somebody else. But does that satisfy the king? You got the car that you got to satisfy somebody else. Does that satisfy the king? You do what you're doing to try to satisfy somebody else. Does it satisfy the king? Now, when you've made this decision, and you say, I'm willing to accept. I'm willing to accept this responsibility. Now I want to give you the benefits. And I promise I won't be before you long because I know you're ready to go kick your feet up and celebrate your Father's Day. So I ain't going to hold you too much longer. Now you got your benefits. When you look at the benefits, your first benefit is found in verse 23. It said, the steps of a good man are ordered. Right? When we look at this, the Hebrew for ordered means to be secured. So I want you to know your first benefit is your steps are secured. Your steps are anchored. What are you saying, preacher? It doesn't matter that you may not even know which direction you need to go in, but it doesn't matter when I step, he's going to secure that step. I may not know how long I need to go there. It doesn't matter. He's going to secure that step. I went home, Tori, I went home a couple weeks ago and my Aunt Bernie that she wanted me to plant an apple tree. She had these two apple trees. And then she said, oh, we, got, we got to make sure that we get these apple trees in the ground because there's a storm coming. And then we got to make sure that we get the apple trees deep enough in the ground so that they can sustain the winds. And, and when the rain comes, we got to make sure that these apple trees are secured. And we start, we start digging. I remember when we looked at the first spot and we, we, we start digging, but we couldn't get deep enough. So that meant that we couldn't put the tree in a shallow hole and some of us as men are standing in shallow holes. Woo! We're not mm. deep enough. That's why every time the wind blows, it's, it seems as if it's pushing you over. Every time a little situation happens, you seem as if you're falling apart. But when you get down deep enough, and God as a good man, God said, I'm going to sustain you. What we did when we put those trees, we made sure that the roots were deep in the ground and we took dirt and packed it down in the hole and we made sure that the tree could sustain the wind. So even if the wind blow, 
the tree would still stand. Oh, yeah. Man. So we got to know as men, I can step with confidence mm. because my steps are secured. I may not have all the answers, but my steps are secured. I oh, may man. not know where I'm going, but my steps are secured. Hallelujah. I may not know how long I'm going to be there or how I'm going to get there, but my steps are secured. So when God say go, I got to go. Second, second benefit, second benefit. Not only are your steps secured, but when you look at it, when you look at it here, you see that in verse 24, he says, though he fall, he shall not utterly be cast down for the Lord upholds him with his hand. The second benefit is you got a grip for every stumble. You got to know that, it, you know, see, this is, this is, this is, this is good stuff because Webster's dictionary defines the word though as in spite of, in fact, even if. So we know that as men, we're going to make mistakes. We're not going to get it right. But there's some good news in the text that even though I stumble, I'm not going to fall because my hand is in his hand. My hand is in the hand of the man who flung the stars into a velvet sky. My, my oh, hand, yeah. the hand of a man who, who painted the grass green and the skies blue. My hand is in the hand of the man that, that opens blind eyes and make the oh, dead. Yeah. Yes, he will. My hey, hand is in the hand of the man that allows me to walk like I'm somebody, allows me to <laughs> preach like I'm somebody. My hand is in the hand of the man who sits high and looks low. <laughs> Grandmama, that is if he have to reach way down, he'll pick me up. Oh, yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. Turn me around and put my feet on solid ground. Yes, sir. My hand is in his hand. Yeah, yeah. I got a grip for every stumble. Some of us just need to take time to realize that you, 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 you've been stumbling and you've been You've been walking a long time and folks trying to figure out why you ain't failed yet. You can look at them confidently and say it because my hand <laughs> is in his hand. I know you thought when I lost the job that was going to take me out, but my hand is in his hand. I know you thought the divorce was going to take me out, but my hand is in his hand. I know you thought the sickness was going to get me, but my Boy, hand yeah. is in his hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My hand is in his hand. My, my, my steps you, are secured. My hand is in his hand. I got a grip for every stumble. And last, but certainly not least, David he tells us in verse 25, he says that I was young, but now I'm old. That's music. And I've never, never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is he begging for bread. <laughs> David was saying that uh, that I got provision in every season. David was saying that uh, I was young. When I made mistakes, he still made a way. When I didn't have good sense, he still made a way. When I didn't know what I was doing, he still made a way. When I messed up with Bathsheba, he still made a way. When I didn't get it right with my family, he still made a way. When I didn't know which direction to go, he he still made a way. David the way Michael. I was young. Some of us know what it's like to be young and make stupid decisions, but God still makes a way. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. That trouble don't last always. That God was able in the midst of my stupidity, in the Woo. midst of my hangups, in the midst of my mess ups. I too, like David, because I 
I can hear my granddaddy say, when times get hard, just keep living. I know you ain't seen it yet. I know you don't know it all yet, but just keep living. There's going to come a time where you going to have to call on the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Call on that good man that came down 42 generations. you going to have to call on that good man that sprung up from the root of Jesse. you to call on that lily of the valley, that bright and morning star. you going to have to call on Alpha and Omega. You gonna have to call on that man that they walked up your yeah 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 they pierced him in his hands they it to his feet they pierced him in his side he hung his head in the locks of his shoulders he Come died did he die he died didn't yeah. he die but they did they tried to put a rock in a rock and closed the rock with a rock, right. but it was too much rock in the rock and the rock holding the rock couldn't hold the rock because the rock started rocking and rock okay. is crap me, preach, man. Let me hide yes, myself in the Sunday morning oh, yeah. with That's power. Right. Power over cancer, power yes, over, sir. Sickness, yes, sir. over pain, power over depression. Somebody, somebody say yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah. 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 To step up and be the men that God has called us to be. Uh, it's time for us to step up and walk in the authority that God has given us to walk in. It's time for us to step up and take charge of our communities, of our families. Please happen. <laughs> When good men step up, right now, before I get ready to pray, I need all praying women. I'm talking to women now. I need praying women. Yes, sir. To start interceding right now for men. Yes, I need you is. to start interceding for men. I need you to be able to lie prostrate for men and call on the name of God for your yes. sons. Call on yeah. the name of God for your husbands and call yes. on the name of God for your nephews and call yes. on the name of God for your own. Yes. 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 I need to stay yes. in the gap. I'm talking, yes. I'm only yes. talking to some praying yes. women. Yes. Women yes. Lord. That don't mind yes. calling on the name of Jesus. I'm talking to oh, yes. women that don't yes. mind saying, yes. Lord, yes. change my son. Lord, heal yes. my husband. Lord, deliver my husband. Oh, that God yes. can yes. show up. I need yes, some women Lord. who know that 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 the power that we have is that kind of God. Yes, 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 Listen to them. Listen to them. 